On Friday, November 22nd, Lee Harvey Oswald rises quietly and boils water for a quick cup of instant coffee. Half an hour later, without awakening anyone, he leaves the silent Payne household. Carrying a long paper-wrapped parcel, he walks the half block to Wesley Fraser's house for his ride to the book depository. Fraser's sister, Mrs. William Randall, watches him approach this morning. It's about 17 a.m. in the morning. I was preparing lunches. I looked out the window and saw a man, whom I learned later was Mr. Oswald, crossing the street with a package approximately two and a half feet long. He proceeded across my carport and I opened the door to see where he was going and saw him put the package into my brother's car. Minutes later, he is joined by Frazier. I went out the back door. Lee was there standing just outside the door. We walked to the car. As we were getting in the car, I saw the package and I said, what's the package, Lee? And Lee said, curtain rods. And the only comment that was made on the way to work was about the babies and the weather. And I always managed to get some comment out of him about the children because I see he seemed like he's very fond of them. And I asked him, did he have fun playing with the babies? And he says, oh yeah, I kind of chuckled to himself. Fifteen minutes after leaving the suburb of Irving, Wesley Frazier's 1953 Chevrolet sedan joins the flow of morning traffic speeding along Stennon's freeway toward the gray towers of downtown Dallas. about the weather and it was an easy day and we both said if it didn't clear up it's sure gonna be a bad day. It is nearing eight o'clock when the drab bulk of the book depository looms up beyond the triple underpass. Here the presidential motorcade is due to pass in four and a half hours. As usual, Wesley Frazier drives his car to a distant employee parking lot beside a railroad yard, a four-block walk from the book depository's back entrance. But this morning, his companion is in a hurry. And I said, he got out of the car, see, and picked up the package when I was charging my battery, see. My battery ain't charging pretty bad. And then when I got out of the car and fixed the door, he started walking a little bit faster. And he finally got about 50 feet ahead of me. Unlovely amid Dallas's splendid downtown structures, the depository is a textbook distribution center. Oswald's job, gathering books for shipment to Texas schools, gives him access to the building's seven floors. 